and you have a very strong fear of snakes. Now, does this uh, affect your life in any way, or do you just just make sure you live in climates and places you just don't deal with? Them? Oh, we lived in Florida. It was very frightening. Oh, you got, I live in Florida. There's snakes everywhere. I had a little baby snake crawling in my house one time under the door. You know, they're just fighting to get in on you. I, I was videotaping. I got sick of videotaping all the snakes I was running into. All the time. Okay, so you lived in Florida, so obviously you were dealing with lots of snakes and, and other things too. So asking you if we were able to uh, get rid of a, this snake problem, if we were able to do that, would that be okay with you? Yes. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to do something that you absolutely do not want to do. I'm going to have you think about snakes, and I'm going to ask you, I'm going to create this fear, because this is what I need to get rid of it. You understand? Okay. I'm going to take your glasses, it'll be all right. Now we can really be a snake, and I can't see it. All right. Okay. And you said your name again was? Sharon. Sharon. Okay. Put your hands down. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is close your eyes. So close your eyes, and I'd like you to think about a situation, imaginary or real, a snake. Something that makes you very uncomfortable. I want you to let yourself feel how uncomfortable you can get thinking about this thing. See? She's doing it, right? She's going in there. This is a trance state. For her to engage this emotionation and visualize it, she's really doing it. You guys can see it so much. Your eyes are starting to flutter. This is the things I look for on stage to tell when people are going into the trance state. So you're feeling it. Now, if you were to describe one word to describe this uncomfortable feeling, what's the emotion that makes you feel to think about this? Fear. Fear. All right. Now, letting yourself feel the fear in your body. Where do you feel that fear in your body? Is it your stomach, shoulder? How do you feel that fear that makes you uncomfortable? Where do you feel it? Mostly here. All, all through your shoulders and things like that. Okay. So, let yourself feel the fear. Really let yourself feel it. If you describe the fear on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most, how bad would you say it is right now, just really engaging your mind in this? About an 8. About an 8. So, it's way up there. Now, you said it's okay if we get rid of this fear. That would be all right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tap on some points in your face, one on the upper left hand part of your chest, one on the side of your body, and would that be alright with you? Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm, this is, if you can follow along, I'm going to reach into the upper left hand part of her chest, there's a spot there, I'm going to press in, it's almost going to feel like a sore spot in your body, sort of like, got that? Okay, you guys can follow along if you want. I'm turning in a clockwise position, now Sharon, I want you to repeat this after me, even though I feel this fear. Even though I feel this fear? I choose. I choose. Now, Sharon, I want you to tell me what you'd fear if you were, like, or what you would feel if you got rid of all this fear. How would it make you feel? Very happy. Very happy. Okay, so say it again. Even though I feel this fear? Even though I feel this fear. I choose to be very happy. I choose to be very happy. And one more time, even though I feel this fear? Even though I feel this fear. I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. Very good. Put your fingers, hands down there. I'm tapping. The first one's coming right between the eyes. The first point I'm tapping is right between the eyebrows here. Now, notice as I tap on these points, Sharon, that all that fear, that stuff that's been flowing through your shoulders, all through your body, especially now, it's already starting to dissolve and disappear. You're already feeling it's draining out of your body. It's almost as it's never even been there before. We're going to completely get rid of it if that's all right with you. Hope that's all right. So notice as I tap on these points, all that fear that was churning through your body that you called upon so easily that you had had before is now dissolving and disappearing to the point where you're just not going to be able to get your arms around anymore. You won't be able to get it anymore no matter how hard you try. And that's the cool part. So lift your arm up here. I'm going to tap in one point here on the side of your body. Okay, you can put that arm down. I'm going to do one more round here. Notice how much you guys in front especially can notice how much easier she's breathing. Might even crack a smile on her face because it's just a completely different scenario. You can still think about that snake, but now you can also think about how cool it would be to just be very happy. They're just little critters. they got no effect on you. They're almost laughable now. So yeah, you're almost just giggling, you know, because it just really doesn't have the same effect on you anymore because it has no effect upon you anymore. As a matter of fact, you might just start giggling every time you see a snake, and that would be all right, I'm sure, as long as it's in a cage. <laughs> All right, now Sharon, take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Now if you describe that fear you had had before on a scale of zero to 10, what would it be now? About a two. About a two, kind of silly, huh? Yeah. Now watch this. Try to get that fear you had before. You're gonna find now that the harder you try to get it, the more laughable it becomes, the more silly it becomes. It's actually gonna start getting smaller and smaller. As a matter of fact, the harder you try to get fearful, thinking about it, Whatever you need to do, try to get that fear back. You'll find that now you can't. 
And when you've proven that you can't get it back anymore, then you can open your eyes. Kind of silly now, huh? All right. Pretty cool, eh? Give Sharon a big round of applause. So we got shared down to a two, but now we're gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what we just did, so we can get her down to a zero or one. So, you know, to the point where she's in, inconsequential. So I use that particular thing now. Before I explain this to you, I use that for the emotion of fear. But I want you to know, this will work with anger. This will work with nervousness. This will work with anxiety. This will work with grief. This will work with guilt. This can work with any negative emotion that you can have.